And we're back, ladies and gentlemen, yes. Back in the land of Farming Simulator 22 with the Wild Winter Homestead playthrough. Yes, indeed. And just look at this glory. Huh? Look at it. Witness it with your eyes. We have the amount of logs we need. So that means that everything else now has to be uh, transported to the places where we, uh, uh, where we get the uh, um, things, the banisters, things like that. But first, we are going to probably mow some lawns, I think. What's the time? It's getting late in the day. Well, it's not getting that late. It's, it's three o'clock. We can look from here and let's just go straight into this menu, shall we? Okay. Now. This is the wrong one. I need the production one. Here we go. Yes. Now, how's our cannabis looking? Okay, 600. We're nearly there. We've nearly got our first pallet. My God. Now, it's been a little while since I played, so I've got to get my booze-addled brain back into, um, back into gear. And I do apologize if you can hear the rooster outside in the background, of course. There he goes. I've started streaming. And he's there without fail. It's just, he must hear my voice and come running, thinking I got some food. I ain't got no candy for you, rooster. Anyway. So, this is what we got to do. We got to get some staircases. Uh, things like that happening. So, we got to transport some timber down. Hey, keep it down out there. We got to transport some timber to this uh, wood turner. Up the road. So, actually, I think, I guess we should probably do that first. What do you reckon, ladies and gentlemen? Yes! Because the quicker that he can get working on that, the quicker we can get our house built. Which may be in the next episode. We're getting pretty close to having this house up. And if you don't know, uh, if you haven't watched the other episodes, go back and watch them. But this... Um, playthrough is inspired by the Wild Homestead, James Aloff's uh, YouTube channel, where he is building a homestead in the middle of nowhere in Canada. It's awesome. Uh, go and check it out. That is the Wild Homestead on YouTube. Go look. All right. Let's get on with it. And here we go. That rooster is really starting to piss me off. All right. Now, what we're going to do, hopefully that's loud enough for you guys. Let's crank the volume up a bit. There we go. Now. Let's get some of these logs. Put them straight into the trailer. Now, I know we've done a lot of log collecting. And it's probably not the most entertaining thing on the planet to watch. We're going to be expanding this, okay? It's just minute by minute as I see it. Basically, you can always skip if you're bored. Skip ahead and see what's going on further ahead if you don't want to witness me cutting trees. Now, I spent all weekend doing this in real life. Uh, not all weekend, I should say. I spent a bit of my weekend doing this in real life. Getting ready for winter. Yes, it's almost winter here in Australia. We've just, actually, we've just entered autumn, I should say. But I mean, the winter weather, the cold, the frosts, they're on their way. Well, let's get this in the trailer. Um, my steering wheel just fucked up. There we go. Now, do I need to put this in the middle? Yeah, it'll be fine in the middle. Chuck it in there. Now, I've had real trouble recently getting this in. Before, I was doing really well. Now, as you can see, look. My aim's off. I don't know what's going on. Doesn't translate to the toilet bowl, don't worry, ladies. There's no piss on the toilet seat, I promise. Alright. Uh. Let's get around. Uh, 
Yeah, where is it? Let's get this one, big one. Actually, what I should do is back up, back it up, back it up, and grab it a little bit more this side. Yes. Now, as I was saying, we're going to go see old mate up the road. Drop this timber off. And, uh... Let's get working on the banisters. Staircases and stuff. Ah, oh, shit. Well, that's not good. Can I still reach it? Yeah! Pick it up, please. Yes, you mighty Kubota. Go some third person. Look at this. It's actually a bit loud in third person, isn't it? Let's go down a little bit. Whoa, shit! What was that? We almost rolled the fucking tractor. What is it below the grass here? Oh, we don't want to spray paint it. Something here. Can I pick it up? No? Oh, it's a stump! Thought I got rid of all the stumps. Anyway, let's keep going. Just look at this. That might be a screenshot right there. Is it? Is that a screenshot right there, ladies and gentlemen? Nah, fuck it. We won't do that at the moment. Come on now, get on up there. I'm going to try and play a little bit more third person for you guys. I just find it a lot easier with the steering wheel to line up, as you can see. Come on! I think that branch might be... Oh, there we go. Rocket Bob. Okay, beautiful. Beautiful. It's just a little bit easier to line up first person when doing this. That's alright. Do some third person for your viewing pleasure! Yes! Your pleasure. Right. Now, let's grab this one. Damn! That's sexy. Look at that. Up off the ground. Let's grab it up. Boom, lift. Whoa. Jeez. Whoop. Now, yeah. Role play, motherfucker. Pick up the saw. Ooh, that looks like it's about to drop out. Keep going. Yes, it's been a little while since I played. Uh, spent a fair bit of the last week modding Skyrim for the Skeever Fist playthrough. It's going to be some fun. If you haven't watched that playlist yet, do it! Do it now! It's uh, a laugh. Shit. That log better fall into place. I've got me an RD to get it into place. Oh yeah! I said. Hmm. It's like we may need to manipulate the front a bit. Come on now, easy does it, don't dent the truck. Now, am I going to be able to do this? Yes! Look at that skill, ladies and gentlemen! My god! Right. See if we can drop this load off um, into the misses by the end of the day. Oh, I mean, um, see if we can drop this load off to the timber man. Before the end of the day. 
And I want to get this grass mown around here before the snow. Before the snow she arrives. Alright. Let's get out. Pick it up. Yeah, smell that two stroke, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful. Uh, bloody beautiful. Alright. Okay. Let's get on over, drop this in. Now, I don't think we're going to need much more than what we've got in there now for what we need from this place. Uh, so let's just take what we got there, I think. Let's get on with it. Go for a goddamn drive. It's Kubota here. Hey. Beautiful. Now, hopefully that's not too loud for you guys. I apologise if it is. Oh, we better strap it up. There we go. Yes. Yes. And yes. Okay. We'll put one more here for safety. For OH&S reasons. Yes! Alright. Now! Where have we got to go? Um... Do believe the wood turner is... Here. So they're not too far away. We've got to do some bush travel. Shingle factory. I think that's where we're going, isn't it? No, we're not going to the shingle factory. We are going to a wood turner. Where's he at? Where be the wood turner? Um, this might be the wood turner, is it? No. All right, we're going to have to mark it. Where be ye, wood turner? Tag the place. No, wrong one. Oh, it's up there. Alrighty, so we gotta go. We gotta do some off roading! My god! Fantastic. Let's go for an afternoon drive. Shall we? Hopefully, we can get back before it gets too late. Just listen to that. That old Cummins. Now, first gear. Now, if you don't know, I am using the gear shifter. Um, the Logitech one. To drive these sexy vehicles. Let's get on with it. Turn that down just a little bit. Alright. Take a left out here. Let's get into second gear. Beautiful. We're on our way. On now. Get up there. Yes, it should be able to handle this. No worries at all, ladies and gentlemen. I hope at least. Come on. Come on. Yes, that old 6BT putting in the work. Fantastic. Um, yes. Yeah. Just going to enjoy this drive through the woods, ladies and gentlemen. Come on now, get up, get over there. That's it, get on up. Now, hopefully, all my recording issues are solved. Now, we can only hope and pray. Now, where am I? We've got to go left. Oh, 
man, I'd kill for a beer right now. Oh, yeah. Ah, delicious. Uh, uh, oh, oh. God damn. Now, yeah, as I was saying, hopefully this has worked out all well because I've literally just pressed fucking record and went after my last fiddlings with the settings. Didn't even really test it. I was just like, oh, that'll be right. So we'll see. Hopefully it looks better because especially the Skyrim one, last two episodes looked like fucking shit. That looked like balls. Big, dirty balls. So this one should be better. I'm hoping so. Let's see where we've got to go. Oh, yes. We've got to go right here. We might put the lights on. There we go. It's the cab lights. Time is getting on, yes. Now, I believe we just stick to this. We don't turn off. But we may get lost. But hopefully not. Hopefully it'll be all good. But yes, as I was saying, uh, the last couple of episodes look shit. So I've cranked the bitrate and... Uh, things like that, which will take longer to upload and all that glory. But should look better. Now I do just do these in one take. Um, I don't know, I just, when I watch videos like, like all this, and when I watch videos on YouTube, I like the just one take, unedited type of playthroughs, where you see the fuck ups, you see the misery, you see the glory first hand. No edits. I used to do a lot of editing on the old first videos. Now, for these playthroughs, not so much. You just gotta follow me along the whole way because you guys can always skip if you're getting bored. Oh, have I taken a wrong turn? Nope, this looks alright. Whoa, oh shit! Back it up. Into re. I said, into reverse! Ah, oh, damn it. Come on now. Still in reverse. Reverse. Yes, this map, if you're wondering, is Green Mountain. One of my favourite maps. Fuck, it's good. I love this wilderness drive through here. Oh, shit. It's getting dark, boys. Keep your eyes out for Sasquatch. I hear he lurks in these hills. Now, I think we better look at the map. Otherwise, we'll end up being Sasquatch's a little plaything. My ass just it can't handle that kind of that kind of pressure. That big sassy cock pressure. Right. Uh. Get on down. Nearly there, ladies and gentlemen. Come on. This is where I really wish I could have some tunes to play. At this corner. Because we're badass. But goddamn copyright, man. Goddamn copyright. Alright. And here we are, at the road. Now, I believe we've got to turn right. Keep our eyes peeled. Yes, there it is, on the horizon there. 
And as you can see, we got the fox farm. Uh, thing there. We are in a legalized state, of course. Let's get a beautiful screenshot of that. It just looks majestic. Uh. <clears throat> right. I do like taking screenshots. Whoa! Alright. Getting on up the road. Third! Uh. <clears throat> Just look at this map. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Here we are, the wood turner's place. It's his name Barry, that's it. We'll go in and say good day to Barry. Get unloaded. <laughs> Hello, Barry. Barry, you in here? Barry! Hopefully we don't have to own this, do we? Ah. So. Barry's just unloaded us. Now we need to get our staircase and our railing. Oh, we don't have the planks. Oh, that's what we were going to do. I remember now. We were going to take these planks down there. Yes! Oh, well, whatever. They can... Uh... Yeah, because it's a lot cheaper. That's why. I remember now. My stupid brain. Right. That's okay. We'll, we'll use the extra expense at the moment. And that means we can actually... Now, we are going to need planks for the floor and stuff, so... Still need those planks. Alright, let's get on home. Let's back it up. Try not to hit any of Barry's stuff. Beautiful. And away we go! Now. They got over there, fuel station. Let's have a look here. What can we do? Let's. Are we going to stick to the road? We could go the long way around, back home. Or do we go back through the woods? Let's go the long way. Go for a bit of a drive. What do you say, ladies and gentlemen? We'll get into the mowing in the morning. Yes. All right. Whoops. I probably should have went down to first gear. I'm just going to go for a nice scenic drive. And off the road, obviously, because we're drunk. Whoa, shit. Ah. Man, my steering's a bit wacky today. What's... I think settings have changed. Did this game get updated? I think it did, because my settings have changed. Reverted back to the old... The old settings... Yeah, definitely did, because I've got this massive dead zone in my steering. What the fuck? God damn it, Giants! Come on, man! Don't do this to me. That's beautiful. Another beautiful screenshot right there. Crossing the bridge. Oh, yeah, look at that. Okay, so... Off camera, I'm going to have to readjust the steering. Thanks a lot, giant! My God! Uh, oh. 
And we got the fucking wind turbines in the distance. Goddamn waste of fucking resources they are. Man. Goddamn bullshit, if you ask me. Which no one did. Listen to that Cummins. Beautiful. Now, some people did want to know. Um, changed the sound mod. Yes. I've changed the sound for this mod. Look, I cannot steer. Ugh. I cannot fucking steer like this. <laughs> Nine! Hate how the updates take revert shit back. So annoying. Just had a mad crash. The old Ford didn't mind, no, sir. Now, if you're an Aussie watching this, we've got a special treat this weekend in Sydney Town. And that would be fucking hell. This is actually impossible to steer. We got Pantera, yes, with Zach Wild instead of the mighty. Daryl Dimebag, rest in peace. And Charlie Benente, instead of Vinnie Paul, the legend. Also, R.I.P. But man, am I looking forward to seeing him live. I always had my doubts about Benente, but nope. He is doing Vinnie justice, man. And of course, Zach Wild is. Zach Wild's just a, a predator on the guitar, man. He can do any style. I've watched some of the live stuff on YouTube and it looks good, man. They sound really good. Even Phil's voice. Even Phil's voice seems to be back in action. Which is good. Now, as I said, I do apologise for this fucking terrible driving, but... As I said, the steering wheel settings have changed. And this is fucking difficult. <laughs> I CAN'T DRIVE! It's not that I'm drunk, I promise. Should have just stuck to the off-road thing. Right, we're okay. Let's just take it easy. Let's take it easy. No need to rush. See, look at that. It just full-on shoots across the road. What do you think you're doing, mate? It's a work zone. Slow down. Fucking idiot. Alright. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? Autumn is here. Actually, winter is here in game. Oh, I thought that guy wasn't going to stop then. Come on now. Well, Barry's making it. Oh, shit. Barry's making our stairs. We got planks on the way. Oh, shit. Fuck your sign. Um, and yeah, things are underway. We're probably not going to do more driving in this episode because, uh, yeah, I need to adjust this steering wheel. And I know it sounds like bullshit excuses, but it's legit. I promise you. You've got to spin almost 45 degrees the wheel before it starts turning. Ridiculous. Why would you put that bigger dead zone as your fucking default? Fuck's sake, giants. I love you guys, but fuck. Come on, man. All right. Have a beer. Calm down. But here we are, the sawmill. Oh shit. Let's go down to second gear. Get in here! Now, 
I was streaming everything over on Twitch. However, Twitch gives me the fucking shits. And, uh, I don't know, YouTube is just in a better state than Twitch at the moment, I think, so... Wild to say, I know. At least ad blockers fucking work. You know, and I encourage everyone to use a fucking ad block. Because fuck all these ads. Absolute bullshit. You can suck my cock. Alright, let's get up. If I see an ad on fucking YouTube and interrupts my shit, I'm less likely to buy your fucking product. So I don't know how this keeps working. Like, if some dumb fucks must still be like, oh, there's a fucking, you know, toothpaste ad I see 50 times in a row. I'm gonna buy some fucking toothpaste. Ridiculous. Now, did I just miss the turn? Is it up here? I'm lost in the dark. I think I'm. Yeah, I went the wrong way. Fuck. Yep, I did. You turn! I think it might be time to go to bed once we get home. It's been a long drive. A very long drive. Alright, back on track. Back on track, ladies and gentlemen. Now, our driveway should be up here, hopefully. Yep, there's our boundary, the blue markers. The boundary to our property. Uh, and there's the red X to signal our driveway. Yes. Beautiful. Tractor will be alright there for the evening. In the morning. Now we're going to have to pay some bills tonight for the production. For the production. Can't be helped. Let's jackknife the trailer. Back we go, back it on up. Beautiful. And that'll do. <sighs> Fantastic. Right. Let's have some whiskeys. Hit the sack. Yes. Hopefully the ground's not covered in snow in the morning, because we got some mowing to do. Fuck, it's hard to hit that. <laughs> that one. 110. Oh, it's only $17 for production costs. That's good. Ooh, it's getting chilly. What is the temperature out today? Mm, now there is no... Oh, there is rain on the horizon. But we're okay. Low winds, fairly warm. They are predicting snow. At some point here. But not today. It's like just shitty rain. Alright, let's get the mower deck on. Where is it? Here. Okay. Closing my curtain there so I can see. We're going to get down all these bushes and shit around here. They're annoying me. Nothing worse than bush. Hey. It's got to be clean shaved. That's disgusting. How dare you. Right. Let's fire it up. Warm up the old engine. Yes. Get on down. We can take the uh, bogger's box off. I reckon. We can probably take the uh, front end loader off too. Ugh. 
Let's put it over here for now. Now, is it going to cooperate? <laughs> yes. Yes, it did. Now, this mod, Lance Modding, and quite got this set up so that you can back it out without... Um, without hitting the arms. At least I've never been able to do it anyway. And then we'll dump the logger's box off just here, I reckon. Um, there. Beautiful. And then we shall slide the mower in underneath I think it's on wheels so spin the knees all right slide it under fantastic now let's get to do some mowing shall we ladies and gentlemen let's get some of these bushes out of the way right um B, B, X, Y, Z, L, M, N, P, and there it is. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully that's not super loud. I'll turn it down a little bit for your ear pleasure. Uh oh. There we go. We're okay. We're okay. That's mowing time. You guys just sit back and relax. Let old Bogan do the mowing for you. Yes. Just going to go up and down. Let's do one lap up the driveway. And then we'll probably stop each other time at the... Uh, where the dope is growing. just want to get these bushes out of the way. That's it. Nothing worse than bush in the way. grass. I don't care too much about it. As you can see, we're not getting much clip off it. Actually, I wonder if that clip's going to fuck with the snow when it settles. I think it will. Hmm. Is there an option to turn the clip off? No. What about if I lift it up? Still mow the bush? No. Damn. Well, I've just had a thought, ladies and gentlemen, that this clip laying on the ground, I don't have a way to pick it up. And I know that it's going to fuck with the snow. Hmm. What to do, what to do. I guess we could hire a small baler. Pick it up. That might be the go. Oh, what, what are we stuck on? I 
mean, this grass is kind of important to us at the end of the day. Because we can make money off it. Hmm. I do, however, have a heap of fucking wood chip and shit all through the way, because I'm an idiot. Well, I have a... I don't have a bucket, either. I think I've only got pallet forks. What I might do then is figure this out. Let's have a look. What have we got in way of like picking shit up? A bit like one of those wagons, the auger wagons. Is it an auger wagon that picks shit up? No. That spits it out. It's a loading wagon I think we need. Forage wagon, that's... These don't do wood chip. Oh, look at that. Okay. They don't do wood chip. What about the RGC modding guys one? They might. Let's have a look. Um... You? No, you don't either. See, this is my problem. Damn. Right. Wood chip. How are we going to deal with you? Huh? You answer me, wood chip. Grabs the wood chip by the throat and starts strangling it. Answer me! All right. Um, it's enough of that. What are we going to do? We don't have a bucket. We've only got pallet forks. We could buy a bucket. Go around and scoop each one up. <laughs> Where are you, Lance? Where are you, Lance? There you are, my friend. Okay, let's have a look. There's the bucket. 1600 bucks. Ah, we'll buy it. Bucket teeth. Yeah, we'll get teeth because it just looks badass. And we'll go black. Alright, and we're going to have to go down and pick it up. That's alright. We can do that. You won't need the trailer. The, the bucket should fit in the back of the truck. Let's unhook the trailer. Get on down. Oh. Yeah, fucking hell. The st steering. All right. <laughs> oh, shit. We're still in reverse. There we go. First gear. Give the truck a wash while we're down there, too. I think we're going to have to pay about 75 bucks to wash the truck. Because I get... Uh, yeah. You'll see, I guess. You'll see. Alright, we're on our way. It's a little bit easier to steer without the trailer on, I've noticed. Oh, and we've got to check the weed, too. See how that's going. Shit. Didn't think of that. Do that in just a second. Yes. Look at this beautiful morning. Yep. 
Beautiful morning. All right. Bog through the trees. Stunning. Frost on the ground. I love autumn. Love it. Now, if anyone's listening to this, and you're from New Zealand, which most of you guys watching are American, but maybe there's a New Zealander amongst you, what's it like living there? So I was thinking moving, selling the property, moving, selling the farm and moving out of Australia. Because this country is, it's on the downhill. They're going to tax utes for fuck's sake. They're going to tax owning utes. I mean, what the fuck? Us farmers use utes for everything. And you're going to make us pay just because, you're going to make us pay in a tax just because we have a work vehicle. You can get fucked. I think it's, at the moment, it's only to buy new vehicles. Which, still. If you don't know this, Yankee Brothers, Australia is like the most taxed nation on the fucking planet. You wouldn't believe how much our beers are. It's insane. You need to take out a mortgage just to buy a carton of piss. It's unbelievable. It's just going downhill, and I know New Zealand's expensive place to live too. So I'm not too worried about that, but... I don't know, it's just... Seems more chill. Look, from outside looking in, but you let me know! What's it like to live there? Um, where's the bucket? Um, have I got the shop on somewhere else? <laughs> That's alright, we'll just, we'll buy it again. And then I'll refund my money. Because I have no idea where I put the shop. Because, uh, yeah, as you may know, ladies and, uh, may have noticed, ladies and gentlemen, this is not the stock. Hey! Keep it down out there. Um... This is not the stock green mountain map. I have done lots of adjustments to it, and that may have um, fucked with shit. 1600 bucks. We've got our refund for the bucket, and there it is. Okay. Beautiful. Now, can we pick the bucket up? It'd be too heavy to do by hand, obviously. Can we... Oh, shit, I should have left that diesel running. Let's see if this can pick it up. Yeah, first person. Uh, we might have to come from the back, I'm thinking. Uh, that's what she said. Let's tilt it forward. Can we pick it up by that bit? No, the collision is sort of... Not realistic. Okay, we're gonna have to go. What's going on with the mirrors? We got glitches, ladies and gentlemen. My god. So we'll grab this bucket and we're gonna use it to pick up all the wood chip if you don't know what's going on. Because yeah, I probably didn't explain myself very well. Okay. This is. Uh, not picking up. Okay, look. Why is it tilted like that? There we go. What the fuck? That might help. Yes, it did help. I'm just an idiot. Okay. Why is it tilt tipping? Now, is it too wide? Probably. It's alright, we'll drop the tailgate. Move these straps. Right. Let's 
put it up. Look at it rocking. Perfect! <laughs> that was perfect. Except for the start. That was dumb. But I am dumb, so you're going to get that. Beautiful. Get your mum's strap on. Done. Alright. Close the tailgate. Fire up the old diesel. Now, that's right. That's what we've got to do. We've got to go for a wash. We better ask the boys in here. Ask if we can use their tap. Hey! Fellas! Can we use your tap, please? We can? Why, thank you. Thank you very much. Now, if you didn't see that, that is a portable um, washing mod. Now, we don't have running water and high pressure up at the cabin, so... Or the cabin site. Let's give it a wash. Pretty good, uh... Looking good, man. Look at this rig. Isn't it fucking tits? Man. Old high boy. Early 70s high boy. Maybe 69, actually. Denside? I can't remember. But it looks sassy. Now, I did it this colour, too, if you're interested. There is another YouTube channel I like. Where a young man is just kicking ass and taking names. Called The Backyard Alaskan. And he has one of these exact vehicles. And my god, it is beautiful. They don't make vehicles like this anymore, do they, ladies and gentlemen? No! No, they don't, Barry. No. No, they don't. Let's get out of here. Head back home, and here, a nice clean truck. Sure, it's got a few dents and scrapes, but... That's fine. That's it's a work vehicle. We ain't stopping. Fuck your laws. Look at us go. Now you'll probably see one of the screenshots I'm taking as the thumbnail. That's cool. Get involved. Tell me which one you like. Oh shit! Oh. Oh god. You alright? Fine. The old truck can handle it. Oh, oh. That rattled the old neck a bit. Oh, that crash. Damn. No such thing as fucking airbags in this. My god. Back on the road. Oh, it's steering funny. We're fine. We're fine. Drink some more beer. That'll help. Uh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. One day when we're rich, we're going to do up this truck. We're going to get rid of the stock lights. We're going to get some aftermarket lights. Better quality ones. Oh shit! Oh. Good thing she's tough. Get some aftermarket lights and uh, yeah, really zazz it up. I don't know if we'll get a paint job. We might. We might redo the paint job. We'll see. We're gonna have to have some disposable income for that nonsense though. Who knows, maybe one day we'll even get another going to town rig. Probably not. 
Probably not. This series is not going to end after we get the cabin done, ladies and gentlemen. No sorry, Bob. It's... We're going to make a huge weed production thing. There's going to be quite a few episodes. We're going to have a big grow site up here in the hills. And, uh... Be making a lot of money. Legally, of course. The legal marijuana. That's how we roll. Legal. It's not like the first playthrough in Iowa, where we got chased out. No, sir. They chased us out with pitchforks, and you never know, we may... We may go back to uh, Iowa for a visit. I've left some stuff there that I wouldn't mind picking up, including all my trucks and utes. But it might be a bit risky getting there. I even left my pride and joy there, which was this model of vehicle, but done right up. It's okay. We'll be back. We will be back. All right. Up over here. Boom. Lower the gate. Tailgate. Get your mum's strap on off. There you go. Bloody beautiful, mate. Bloody beautiful. Now, we were going to mow, but if you don't know what I'm doing, if you don't understand what's going on, I haven't explained myself very well. I'm going to get the bucket, and I'm going to pick up all this wood chip and put it into a pile. Because we can always get a baler to bale the grass. But, yeah, this wood chip is pissing me off. It's in the way. So, we don't want to waste it, because if we ever build a brewery or anything, not a brewery, a, um, a still, it would come in handy. Let's just take this off here. Slide it out. Come on now. front end loader on again and we won't need the weight of the butt of the um the logging box we'll have to take this off beautiful i love this mod i can't wait till lance spends a bit of time updating it so it's got dirt models and stuff that'd be cool Again, all hail to the modders, making these games... i to attach it. Can it not reach? Oh, hang on. There we go. I'm just an idiot, as we knew very well. <laughs> Perfect. Let's go pick up this uh, wood chip, shall we? Try not to get the grass. We don't want the grass. Excuse me. Can we not pick up the wood chip? Um, what? Can we not pick up the wood chip? Why? Why, Lance? Why? Why can't I pick up the wood chip? Just for looks. 
shit. Well. Yeah, it doesn't have a pickup thing. This one does, however. That means we have to buy a whole backhoe. For six grand. Well, that's shit. Fuck. God damn it! Well! Yes. Well, I guess that idea is out the fucking window. Let's go check the dope instead. Well, I think. Well, I overstrained my brain to try and think of what to do. Get out, see how our dope's going. Surely we've got a pallet by now. Yes, we do, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Let's get this pallet out. Where is it? Did I get it? Where's my pallet of weed? Oh, there it is up the front. Awesome. All right. Well, seeing as the bucket thing failed, let's let's get our harvested dope down to the down to the boys. Down to the boys at the shop. Clive, wasn't it? Can't remember what I called them. This bucket over here. Fucking useless bucket. Spend two thousand something dollars on. That shit. Um wrong button. I right, gotta remember you gotta go back to that. There we go. We I know the thumbnail now, ladies and gentlemen. I know what thumbnail I'm going to use. Yes! Yes, indeed. Bloody beautiful. You guys are going to see it live! Well, not live. You're going to see it on YouTube. Why am I stuck? Fuck, we're going first first, so hard to do this. Very sensitive. It's like... Feminist. Oversensitive. Right. Okay. Gotta get truck up here and we'll look like we're loading it on with the weed in the background it's gonna look beautiful all right so if we set that one up like that go get the ute the truck I should say <laughs> run boom Fire it up. That starting sequence. There we go. It's cold. It's cold, what can I say? Our first harvest before winter, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. Get in there. Line it up.
Line it up. Put it down, put it down, put it down. Beautiful. Now let's go and see how this looks for a screenshot, shall we? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Boom! Look at this. Should have moved that truck back a little bit, actually. That's alright, that'll do. What if I do it like this? No. Like this. No. I think nice and up close like this with the dirt. Yeah, line those up. Hmm. Yeah. Let's, let's OCD this. Come on. I know it's not important <laughs> in the grand scheme of things. But listen. You ever seen a thumbnail taken live, boy? You're about to. You're about to see the glorious process. We can get that dope leaf in the center. Oops. That better. Get the camera out. Yes, that'll be better. Beautiful. Boom, boom. That'll be perfect, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Yes, much better. Right. And then we go. Ah, uh, don't crouch. Right there. Get the camera out. Jump in there, chat. Jump in there. Go, go, go. Actually, I don't know why I said chat. We're not live streaming this episode. We're just playing it today. Fantastic. All right. Paparazziism is over. We are getting back to business. Let's back it up. Back it up. Push the thing forward a little bit. Get the wheel. Get the weight over the wheels. There you go. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, our first weed harvest. Isn't it beautiful? Let's get the strap. Let's go and see the boys. Was it... I can't remember what I called them. Derek and Clive or something? Derek and Clive. That'll do for now. Yes! And we're going to catch this in and see how much money we get for harvested cannabis. Now, in this mod, we will be showing how to do it properly. There are drying rooms and stuff, and obviously we can't afford it just yet. So this is just harvested, can harvested cannabis. We get way more money for this if we do things properly. But for now, this is the way it's going to go until we are rich. And we will be rich, ladies and gentlemen. Mark my words. Alright. Mark them! Because this is our livelihood right here. And all profits will be going straight back into the growing business. Which means, depending on how much we get for this, we're going to be building another greenhouse. But we've got to see, because I think for a, a really decent greenhouse is like $40,000, which I don't think we're going to be achieving that sort of income from this one pallet of weed. But whatever we get, we'll budget, and we'll probably build in this episode, and then we'll end it there. If we have enough money. Because the more greenhouses we got, the quicker we can pump it out, the more money we can earn. 
and you know how the drill goes. Let's get up into the third gear. Beautiful. Listen to that 6BT rev out. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Derek and Clive. Derek and Clive. Remember remember the names. I should be writing this stuff down because I am stupid. And I do forget shit. They own the Cheech and Chong Bong Euporium down here. After the great Cheech and Chong... Oh, shit! Fuck. I can't wait to finish this episode to fix up the goddamn steering. My god. Need a new steering rack in the in the truck. Oh shit! I should have went straight ahead there, shouldn't I? Right. There it is, Cheech and Chong. Derek and Clive own this own this shop. They're good fellas. Now let's get this around the back. Let them know that we're here. Fellas, how are you going? Yeah, it's me, Bill Hilly Bogettery. I have got you some weed. Actually, that might be a good screenshot there too. <laughs> Let's do that. We'll see which one's better. Play around with the thumbnail later. Look at the signs and stuff. <laughs> Squiggles, I love you. It's such an awesome mod, man. It's so awesome. Alright. Ah. Uh, well, we do have this on hardcore, so a whole pallet. <laughs> that was way worse. Way worse than I thought. Um, <laughs> are you serious? Only a thousand bucks. I'm so stunned. I can't think. What? I thought I would at least get like five grand for that. Okay, let me have a looky. So, just harvested cannabis by itself obviously doesn't do shit. We paid more for the water. We do, however, have our staircase ready. And that is taking a while up there. Okay. Bugger. What am I looking for? My brain's just malfunctioned. Let's have a look. I still love you, Squiggles, even if I just earn no money for all that effort. So we need dried cannabis, okay? Okay, yeah. So nine for a thousand, yeah. We get a, we get more money for drying it. Yeah. Right. So just harvested. It's not earning us. That much. Well then. We're gonna have to figure out something. But that can wait until the next episode. I guess we'll end it right there, ladies and gentlemen, because I'm gonna have to do some planning, fix up this steering, and a bunch of other shit. Hmm. In the spirit of Cheech and Chong, stay high, stay dry, and um, go hard. I love you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you again in the next episode. Cheers!